Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. If you haven't joined the family, please consider subscribing. It's free, it won't take a lot of your time, so that way you don't miss my future video. Okay, so today I'm gonna talk about the top 10 designer perfume in my collection or that I've smelled. Number one. I decided to go for Dolce Gabbana. Dolce Gabbana is a very popular designer house. Okay, so yeah, I'm back with my computer. Uh, I do enjoy Dolce Gabbana. Their perfume has amazing longevity. I considered from this house the only one which is a very sweet caramelly scent and then the only one intense that is also amazing and then also pour femme pour femme intense light blue dolce garden lempatrice i think out of the whole house it's still going to be the light blue um i have the all intense i actually prefer this one than the original this is a beautiful beautiful green apple lemonade scent with the woody background this one the citrus last quite a long time it is one of the best performing summer scent usually the citrus would go evaporates go bye bye and what's left is this woody scent this one also have that metallic -y musk woody dry down but the the lemonade the citruses the sweetness last way longer and this one truly is a very sexy white shirt blue jeans shorts very casual but sexy and appealing type of vibe so yeah in my opinion this is still one of the best from a dolce gabbana house this is my number 10 of top 10 designer perfume that i own or have smelled okay number nine i decided to go for the house armani i really really enjoy the perfume from the house of armani Armani has a Privé line and has the designer line that's available in Sephora. Uh, my options are Armani Coat, Armani Aqua di Gioa, Armani C, Armani C Passion. I'm gonna go with Armani C. I just thought that Armani C is like one of the best from the house of Armani. So Armani C is a black kern vanilla with patchouli. It's a sweet fruity floral patchouli um, they have a lot of different flankers they have the passion version which is the pear black kern rose pineapple version and then the sea fiori which is the more creamier it's very very girly very feminine it's extremely beautiful it smells like a black kern like a little bit scratchy and a little bit green smoothie but it's beautiful so to me from the house of armani i think c and the flankers are one of the best so out of everyone i think i'm gonna go with c fiori it's essentially black currant vanilla musk neroli rose patchouli a little bit of green mandarin orange and oak moss so yeah it's a, a creamy 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 black currant vanilla perfume so yeah out of Armani, I think the best is Armani C Fiori. As far as Armani code, it's a little bit too heady for me in my opinion. It's still good, but I think between code and C, I prefer C a lot more. So yeah, number nine is Armani C Fiori. Number eight, this is from the house of Jean Paul Gaultier. So I've tried a lot of Jean Paul Gaultier, I've tried the classic. The classic intent, which is a little bit more fruity, floral, patchouli. I have the Essence de Parfum, which is tangerine, orange blossom, very grapey, orange blossom, vanilla, whipped cream scent. Also, I have La Belle and La Belle La Parfum. I think to me, the best perfume from the house of Jean Paul Gaultier is for sure La Belle. I've used it a lot, I actually have the perfume here. This is a beautiful over-ripping pear with vanilla and vetiver. 
this is a very fruity sour super super duper long lasting vanilla scent it's absolutely beautiful i think in my opinion it's very unique it has a very common moss appealing dna but at the same time it's very unique i'm sure there's a lot more notes that are the three that are listed in fragrantica um, to me the number eight best perfume for designer is for sure john paul gautier labelle all right so number seven this is from the house of moogler there's an alien alien essence absolute alien oud majestique alien salted caramel butter sublime au crossier angel edt angel muse aura edp so these are the perfume that i've tried and i really really enjoy the house of moogler i think they're extremely extremely unique they're very heady, very statement making, very daring, very bold, affordable, beast mode, great performance, and long lasting. So I love the House of Moogler and for sure Moogler should be in the top 10 of a designer perfume out there. So out of all of it, I think I have to give Alien as my pick in this case alien is a very heady jasmine with amber and woodsy notes i love alien essence absolute but it's already been discontinued and it's super hard to find if i were to pick one it would be alien essence absolute which is a darker version of alien jasmine with vanilla amber benzoin incense jasmine cosmerin and oris root so that would be my pick for the house of moogler but because it's discontinued i would like to pick also angel also blame that's the the jasmine is like one of the best jasmine i've ever smelled I'm very picky with my jasmine. I don't like any indolic jasmine E. I prefer a beautiful, like realistic jasmine. An alien has it. The problem with alien purple bottle is that it might the opening might be a little bit too like wet soily vibe. And because of that, I pick alien also bleem. That one has citruses in the opening and the dry down is 99% alien. So yeah, for the house of Moogler, I think the best designer perfume is Alien. All right, so number six. This is from the house of Tom Ford. So Tom Ford has perfume that are available in Sephora, which is the more affordable version. And they also have like the one that you could only find in Neiman Marcus, Sex Fifth Avenue Boutique, the one that's way more expensive. If I could include everything to me, maybe the best Tom Ford is Lost Cherry. But uh, for the designer line, the best Tom Ford is Tom Ford Noir Parfum, which I have here. Um, Tom Ford Noir Parfum is a beautiful gourmand, sweet, coffee, creamy, 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 dense perfume. This is very dense. It's very intoxicating. It's very, very date night. It's like one of the best going out perfume for date night. I love it so much. It's like those creamy, dense Indian dessert, like coffee. It's so, 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 so good. Yeah, so that would be my pick for number six. All right, so number five would be from the house of Coco Chanel. I've tried so many Chanel, actually. Let me see. I love Chanel. I started off with obsessing over the house of Chanel. I tried so many of them and I think the best from the house of Chanel. Yeah, I've tried so many Chanel here. I have Chanel 1957, Chanel Chance. I've tried all of it. Um, Coco Mademoiselle and then I've tried the Chanel Venice, Coco Noir, Gabriel number five. I couldn't decide between the Coco Noir and Coco Mademoiselle, but I think I'm going to pick Co Chanel Coco Mademoiselle, which I have here. This is a beautiful, beautiful, very classy, sophisticated perfume. It is super duper long lasting. It lasts like 10 plus hours. Longevity is amazing. Performance is beast mode. It projects. 
lifts beautiful scent trail, smells professional. This is like one of the best professional scent in my opinion. I, and I know that it is like very common perfume, like you could smell a lot of people wear it. But at where I work or where I am in Houston, where my profession is, I don't really smell a lot of people wearing perfume. I mean, it sets me in the mood to be proper, to be professional, to be mindful. It also increases my confidence. So to me, hands down, the best of the house of Chanel. I'm not including the fancy line like Coromandel or Beige. To me, the best Chanel is still Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. I know that some of you might want to avoid it because you have smell other people wearing it so maybe you could go for the intense version which I used to have um, which is a darker sexier like tonka bean version of um, the Coco Mademoiselle less sparkling but to me the best is still Coco Mademoiselle so that would be my pick for number five number four this would be from the house of Yves Saint Laurent I absolutely love Yves Saint Laurent I first fell in love with this Yves Saint Laurent Black Opium and then I bought uh, Mon Paris. I fell in love with Mon Paris. I thought out of every perfume that are on display on Sephora and Ulta, I thought the best house when I first started is Yves Saint Laurent. And since then I've explored so many um, from the house of Yves Saint Laurent and I'm still very impressed with it like the perfume there is very bold statement making it's quite unique but at the same time it's very mass appealing in my opinion so I absolutely love the house of Yves Saint Laurent and I thought about which perfume would represent the house of Yves Saint Laurent and I think in my opinion the best perfume from Yves Saint Laurent would be if San Laurent Libre Intense. This is a beautiful orange blossom with vanilla. Just like Chanel Coco Mademoiselle, it's very suitable in the professional setting. It smells clean, it smells like sexy, like classy, like very professional. Intense version has more vanilla. I love the house of Yves Saint Laurent and I think this, this is the best. So I have, I used to have the original and I have this one and I love them both, but the original I'm a little bit nostalgic to it. I can't smell it past like an hour. So because of that, this would be my pick. And Yves Saint Laurent is the hardest house to pick because I've tried a lot from the house. Black Opium, Cinema, Manifesto, Mon Paris. Yeah, I love manifesto as well but i think the best from the house of isan lauren is still leap okay so that would be my number four number three this is like my all-time favorite easy reach perfume you would have guessed this is from the house of guerlain um i'm not going for the uh um, guerlain metier fancy line i'm going with the designer line of guerlain um, I've tried a lot from the house of Guerlain. Um, to me, the best, hands down, is Mon Guerlain. I've tried the intense version as well, and I absolutely love it. But that one has a very heavy patchouli. Nonetheless, you could pick any of them from the Mon Guerlain. Um, my pick would be the other Parfum or the intense version, which I don't have. But yeah, Mon Guerlain, hands down. This is a beautiful vanilla, lavender, a little bit of licorice. Yeah, so Mon Guerlain is one of the best. I've tried the Mon Exclusive. I used to own a full bottle of it. I decided to declutter it because it smells very similar to this. Mon Exclusive is actually better than this one, but it is so hard to find. It's discontinued and it's extremely pricey. So because of that, my pick would be Mon Guerlain or the Parfum. So that would be my number three. Number two would be from the house of Narciso. Uh, I've tried a lot of perfume from Narciso. I haven't tried the Embray version, but to me, hands down, the best from the house of Narciso is Narciso Poudre. I also love uh, Narciso for her, the black bottle. I used to have the pink bottle. But in my opinion, like Narciso Musk, they all smells pretty similar. 
they're beautiful 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 but they all have the same like powdery musky sweet silky smooth vibe you're gonna love it uh, as long as you like clean musk and i love it and i don't like a lot of musk i don't like sour musk i don't like metallic musk i don't like a cheap celebrity dry down musk but i love narciso musk so yeah to me the best narciso is still narciso poudre so this would be my number two yeah powdery classy musky super feminine and silky number one in my opinion the best designer perfume out there is from the house of christian dior christian dior i've tried a lot of the Privé line and to me i think christian dior the designer line is actually better than the Privé line just because maybe i don't like patchouli and uh, the Privé line has this like patchouli watered down patchouli dna ish that vibe you know even though it might be from other stuff but it has that vibe so to me the best from the house of christian dior is hands down i was gonna go for hypnotic poison but i decided that like out of every single designer fruity floral tonka bean vibe perfume in my collection or that i've tried hands down poison girl or the perfume is the best in my opinion this is tonka bean licorice i don't know i could smell cherry it's very fruity tonka bean sexy so this one has the same vibe as la belle la perfume intense but in my opinion of all the perfume of this fruity floral dna hands down poison girl or the perfume wins the notes that are listed is vanilla almond tonka bean bitter orange rose and tolu balsam yeah one of the best thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope this video helps you trying to figure out if there's something you want to try i mean i know that i don't own a lot of designer perfume and i don't tried every single flanker out there but i have 80 20 rules if i tried 20 percent of the perfume in that line i could guess what the 80 percent of the perfume is gonna smell like it's like yeah anyway thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one Bye bye